Hey and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the lucky number of 13 different mounts and how to get them. Uh, it's like three different sections on where you can get different mounts from. And yeah, for a few sections you need to have Endwalker unlocked and finished. And well, I'm gonna name everything obviously in the description below and what you need to have unlocked for that, obviously within the video as well. So beware of potential spoilers, but they're not really spoilers. It's like, I'm not gonna talk about any story related things it's just how to get these mods because they are very easy to get yet not many people have them so yeah before we start the video uh feel free to like or dislike the video if it was helpful or not subscribe if you like more content like this um i've already made a few mount videos also let me know in the comments if this video was helpful for you or not if it was helpful for a few friends of yours or not if not well that's okay as well but yeah one more small thing uh, i also stream on twitch so if you want to follow that channel down below or just tune in and have fun you can do that as well uh if you follow it will notificate you if i stream so you know whenever you're bored you can just join leave it on in the background and just you know chill together and have some fun right but yeah let's jump right into the video with the first section of mounts so the first section only has two mounts and the percentages are very low it's like this one the the white lion from the shadowbringer trailer if you've seen it it's only like 21% of people have it. And then there's also the dinosaur, which is from Endwalker. And only 14% of people have this. Now, this one, in my opinion, is so easy to get. Yet, like I said, not very uh, not very much people have it. So what do you need to get this mount? We are we are in front of, uh, of this hunt board on Old Charlian. It's literally just, if you want to describe it, you spawn there. You just walk down right and then there's this hunt board right here next to the two traders so what i would recommend okay you can do everything but i do recommend to just do the elite mark you get 5k gold and 100 sacks of nuts now if we look at the website let me pull it up we'll actually see that we have three three point two k nuts that we need to get in order to get the mounts so you might think to yourself okay I can get a hundred sacks of nuts, but how often? Well, you can only get this once a week. Now, this might seem like it will take you 32 weeks to get the fucking mounts, but there's a way to speed this up. And the way to speed this up, it's literally just you need a Discord server. I'll pull it up in a sec. And yeah, I'll just pull it up and then I'll explain through the Discord server what you need. All right, we're at the Discord server now. So it's this one basically uh you just it's called follow the the hunt i'll put the invite in the description and what you own the only thing okay the only thing you'll care about is literally just hunt trains let me find it um there it is so what you're gonna do is okay i haven't done this in a while because i already got uh the dinosaur that's what i only cared about so this, actually the last one it started was at 12 a.m uh 30, 23 minutes so it's like a hunting tra uh, hunt train is literally just you look at where it starts shiva so you go to shiva and then you go to Castrum orients in the fringes it all also says here slow storm blood train with hopefully 10 a ranks and what, once you're done with that, with like if you if you kill everything with the with the hunt train, you'll have like one k nuts after one hunt train. So if you just look out for all of the hunt trains, you can see here how many fucking hunt trains they did yesterday. It's like so so many. So if you join for every single one, you get yourself these two mounts within one day. All you gotta do is you have to find the hunt bot as well for Shadowbringers. It's gonna be very, very easy to find. Okay, just put in Google fucking hunt bot Shadowbringers. I'll put it in the description below to make it extra easy for everyone. Okay, you just do the uh, elite mark to make it also like you know get some free kill as well. Why not 10k uh, a week for for hunts? Uh, and then you join like a few um, hunt trains, and then once once you have enough sacks of nuts. You go in here, you talk to what's her name? Jalakshai. Jalakshai. Well, after you talk to her, 
you find yourself the mount there it is 3.2k you also can get minions uh, a dummy for your house and some other shit right some material and stuff nothing of this but yeah pretty much that's it you get yourself two mounts this way uh i'll show you the dinosaur let me just go to the housing district that i always go to and then you'll see it all right so this is the dinosaur version that you get from endwalker i didn't get myself the line i just realized uh i should get it probably i have like 1k nuts so i'll ju just join two to three hunt trains and then i'll have the other mount as well uh like i said it's very very easy to get we saw the percentage it's like once you do that you're only like at top 90 percent of the fucking <laughs> players right um no wait top top 10 percent right it's the other way around so yeah get yourself these two easy mounts and yeah that's basically it Let's jump right to the next section. All right, we're at the next section of the video, which is gonna be fate mounts. Now these ones are very easy again. Uh, they are only hard to get whenever they are new, like freshly released, because then the the fate drop rate is very low and it's dead within like a second because everybody wants it. But right now it's very easy. So you have three different mounts, and here we have the frog, which is pretty good. Um, we have the Ixion horse that you can also get from um, Unreal fights or the um, custom delivery, no wait, not custom delivery, fuck, Wondrous Tales. And then we also have Chi, uh, the level checker. This one's from Endwalker and it's also just Fate Mount. So let's look at the mounts in game. All right, we have the first one in here. It's like this horse with like the thunder and the golden horn. Um, yeah, this is like one of the fate mounts that you can also get from the Unreal fight and also the uh, Wondrous Tales, like I said. Uh, the next one is gonna be the Frog mount. So, we're, we're on top of the frog. It is actually a pretty good uh, good way, unique way of sitting. It's kind of cute as well. So, if you want this one, it's like one of the best mounts, actually. I kind of like it a lot. Um, yeah, that's the next one. And then we have like only one more. And it was just there, it's the level checker. This one is very unique because you're like inside a TV and you can just look at your character. Uh, basically that, yeah. You cannot like change your pose or anything like that, but it's still like very unique. I don't know why it's so uh, fucking bright. Usually it's not that bright. I don't know. But yeah, these are the three fate modes. And you might ask yourself, how do I know where the fate is? How do I know when it's up? Everything will be explained in a sec. Just give me one second. So we're back at this one Discord server. And this one this time we're gonna search for fates, okay? Uh yeah. So Chi, you already see it. It is obviously in Raiden. So all you have to do is you make yourself a list with the three different mounts that I just showed you, okay? You search for each mount where it's located in the map this one is like an ultima tool so you'll have to find out where exactly it is an ultima tool and you just put uh, point out the coordinates i'll try to show it in the video as well for each mount so yeah this is like the g1 in raiden at this time it was killed within like the 20 minutes so you have 20 minutes time whenever it, you get a no notification on the discord server you you'll have like 20 minutes to kill it with them this one is the Ixion one, Alpha as well. 20 minutes, around 20 minutes again. And then the last one will be the Frog. There it is, formidable, 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 I don't know. Sometimes you have to kill it twice or three times to get the mount. And usually there are people around, so it's very easy to kill, not very many mechanics. What I would recommend is join a group whenever you reach a location. Just put LFG group uh, in chat and say chat people will invite you and then it's like you can get rest whenever you die as well you don't need to know mechanics or anything you just kill it twice or three times and then you'll get them out again like 30 minutes uh you'll have all the coordinates on the screen one more small thing um what i uh, what you need to do is you need to get yourself the rolls um let me find it all right so we had fates and you see chi is like this gun so you would hit it and then you'll get the roll and I mean there's a lot of fates here if you want to do them all you can do them all they all give different things though you'll get a notification for everything if you really want to but yeah there's like Ixion 
which is the horse there it is and then the frog is this one i think no wait this is the formidable one uh yeah it's for the frog one so yeah just like that you'll you'll have a, you'll get yourself three new mounts so let's jump right to the last section of the video already which is gonna have the most mounts but it's also gonna be very very easy to get all right so wait the last section of the video this one is very easy again so as you can see the percentage of these mounts is very low five percent five percent five percent um same for the gunbreaker one which is here four percent even lower now how do you get these mounts the 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 fucking tank mounts you go to your achievements battle you go all the way down until you find the tanky paladin ones i already got the battle line horn where the, where, where, where is it because i play paladin a lot um let me find it it's here basically this one's the paladin one it is there's the version with armor and the version without armor the one without armor is just literally a lion with like steroids and muscles and basically how do you get these it's very easy nothing nothing fancy you don't need skill you don't need to be the best paladin out there or the best tank just literally complete 300 dungeons or trials or extreme trials or like roulettes anything that is above level 60 that is all that is asking you for and this means you can't like sometimes i don't know let's see if there's something up i mean it's pretty late so nobody does it but a lot of the times there's uh something in pf called uh tank mount farm and you just join that and then it's like 30 second runs or like one minute runs where they just kill a boss together that's like a level 70 raid or something like that and then you just go in as the tank you want the mount as and that's how you farm it basically or you just play the game as the fucking tank you like you like to be i like to play warrior sometimes f18 i like to um play where is it no that the other one was dark knight this is warrior i have 76 Fucking Dark Knight is here, 47, the other one was come break on my bed. And yeah, that is basically it. You just do it that way. Uh there's four tank jobs, two mounts each. You get yourself eight new mounts. Um and that way you have 13 new mounts very easily. No skill required. The longest will be the tank tank mounts to get. Um, the other ones are it's gonna be so easy and so quickly to get it is like an effort of like a day for the for the fucking hunt mounts um, If you don't have all day for the other mounts for the fate mounts It's gonna be like two to three days uh, Depending on how much time you have to play every day and the tank ones I mean the tank ones is just a long a long process of getting mounts it's just you know over time you'll have them all if you want to push it you can it's gonna take you a few days and then you'll have them all um but like i said no skill required it's just brainless farming you can just put something on on your second monitor just watch a movie or just if you have one monitor put your phone on top of your in front of your monitor that's what i used to do and i only had one monitor same if i if you would play on console put something on to watch and then just do that and yes, that's that's the way to get 13 new mounts. Like I said, very easy, very quickly. Um, yeah, that's the whole video. Like or dislike again. Uh, subscribe if you like my content. Like I said, uh, check out my last videos, my last mount guides, my last, I don't know, any kind of videos, basically my last shorts. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitch if you don't want to miss out on the stream in the future. Just, you know, give it a try. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you don't. Who knows? So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for everything. And I'll see you soon. Good, goodbye. Oh yeah, don't forget the explosions, man. But yeah, for real, goodbye now. <laughs>